Wednesday. Both of them have pled not guilty to a variety of very serious charges they're both facing. Hey, yo, what's the 411, hon? What's the 411? I got it going on. Hey, yo, I got it going on, hon. Yo, what up, family? How y'all doing? Yes, it's Talk About It Tuesday, and I'm about to talk about a little something in just a moment. I hope y'all day is getting off to a good start. I hope your day, you know, has been pretty good so far, because I know mine has. Uh, but I'm about to get into this little story. If it's your first time tuning into My Car TV, welcome yourself to the channel. Hit the subscribe, the like, the share button. Also, feel free to comment. You know, family, I love y'all down. You know, we're going to continue to grow over here. And uh, just know, I'm just giving y'all one big ass hug right about now. So, boom, let's get up into it. Mm -hmm. I know y'all heard about the story that went down up in Missouri. Now, this is nothing new, but this is kind of the final, you know, final culmination of what's been going on over the past four years. Yes, I said four years because this actually initially started back in 2015 back at Lusher Elementary School in St. Louis, Missouri in the Hazelwood District. Um, over in like Florissant area, mm -hmm. there was a teacher assistant by the name of Deontay Taylor. He was, um, you know, pretty much there teaching the classroom and that's when he had uh, lured a class, well I'm not going to say lure, he took a child outside of the class and took him into another classroom and proceeded to um, molest him, perform oral sex acts on him and at the time the little boy was just only seven years old and um, it was just a motherfucking damn tragic ass thing and so this incident was damn reported to the police and all that and like I said, there was a DNA rape kit that came back that actually confirmed that it was, you know, um, body fluids that was exchanged between the two. And uh, what turned on, uh, what ended up being found out was that Taylor was HIV positive. So I'm like, you know, dude, wait a damn minute. Not only did you fucking um, molest this dude and sodomize this little boy, but you are sitting here exposing him to, you know, HIV. Now, I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know, HIV is like, oh, the big death sentence like it used to be and everything. Because at once upon a time, it was. Now we know one a day, you can just take one pill. You can live a long, successful lifetime and all that. But the fact that you would even, you know, go to those lengths to, uh, of even touching this little kid when you're supposed to be an educator and that to educate and steer him in the right motherfucking direction and you would expose him to this damn disease. As a, as a whole nother motherfucking factor. And for that right there, you need to have some more damn charges brought up against your ass on top of the damn three, um, three first degree sodomy um, related to the alleged statutory rape charge. You need some more motherfucking charges for the simple fact that you would even expose him to that. And I'm pretty sure you didn't let him know that you had HIV at the time. So that right there, you, get, you should get some more motherfucking charges, okay? Not to mention you're just a sick, perverted, twisted ass bastard to even want to go to those lengths of, of fucking touching children, okay? Especially when you're supposed to be an adult fi figure and these kids are supposed to be looking up to you, okay? That's just fucking uncalled for. It's fucking uncalled for. So like I said, there was um a report that was uh, reported that night to the authorities, but there was a delay in the charges being filed and Taylor's arrest and um, so all this happened because the lead investigator had uh, pretty much switched departments. So this is the reason why he um, wasn't initially arrested at the time. Like, I mean, he was arrested, but he was also kind of let go or whatnot. But the actual charges didn't get brought up on him till 2018, okay, in November. And that's when the uh, three uh, first-degree statutory sodomy uh, related to the alleged rape you know, kind of came about. And that's when he was uh, put in jail on a $250,000 bond, okay? So, that's that right there, okay? So, in the few years in between, I'm kind of breaking the story down, in the few years in between, the alleged side of me and episodes between Taylor's arrest, Taylor was able to procure his teacher's certification and began teaching in another st uh, school district, okay? Because they did not pick up on the background check and uh, also the other checks and things that was going on because with that switch in the department uh, lead and everything, it kind of left the uh, cases like a hanging case. So, what happened was, you know, whenever they finally did get the case completed and they uh, was able to get everything logged into the system, that's when they immediately apprehended 
uh, Deontay Taylor and uh, arrested him and they that's when they set the bond at the $250,000 and stuff and that's when they notified all the families um, of the students of who in which he had contact with okay so like I say I was so glad that they was able to get that law in because you know with him being able to go to different school systems and be able to reinstate his teaching certification this put him in uh, and, and kind of wiped him with a whole clean slate with people that, you know, didn't know him and he was able to kind of set up a whole another situation that he did with the seven-year-old boy, which is now about 10 years old. Okay, so, you know, I don't know what's going on in the Missouri um, system, you know, school board or whatnot. I don't know if y'all just not looking at the news or something. I don't know if he even made the news or whatnot at that time frame, but, you know, you got to be checking with your references and things of that nature to kind of figure out what's going on because I feel like that he would have never been able to get into that new school system had somebody did a complete checks and balance to kind of follow up with, you know, what's your track record from the last school system that you was in, okay? What's your track record from the last motherfucking school system that you was in? Because why do we why do we submit three references if you're not gonna check it? Why do you have you know why do you um, put your whole work history there if you're not gonna check it? Okay, I know they can only save us so much, but honey, you know I ain't nothing but like girl, you that ain't what you want. You know what I'm saying? That's there right there. Anywho, while he was in jail, Taylor allegedly allegedly tried to recruit a fellow inmate who's um name is unknown to try to kill the little boy and his mother once the inmate got out of jail okay but what he didn't know was that inmate ended up being a um state confidant okay so what he who he thought he was confiding in ended up turning on him and becoming a um pretty much a mole to the people and that's how they was uh tracking his moves and trying to figure out what he was doing, his next moves with the little boy and his mother. Now, the fact that you even trying to damn set up this little boy and this mother because of your damn mistake, that was just wrong to say. And somebody to be getting your ass while you up in there for real, for real. Because, like I say, dude, you've done enough to the little boy tra uh, traumatizing him and putting him through all of that, um, all that, you know, post-traumatic stress and shit. And he's going to have to live with all of what you did to him for the rest of his life. And then you're going to go and try and take the man's life? Come on now. That's some sick, twisted, and demonic in your damn head. And, dude, uh, I'm glad they got your ass locked up. And like I said, you need some more motherfucking charges put up on your ass. You need some more motherfucking charges put up on your ass, okay? Um, Let's keep going right here. Um, At the rate that this was going right here, they was... Like I said, he was actually in full-on cahoots and trying to plot and scheme things all the way out to the point to where he got his 66-year-old live-in um, boyfriend that I don't know what kind of relationship these two had. They, it was like a sugar daddy type situation. This motherfucker looking like them, a reject-ass Sanford and son. And um, I, I just don't know what kind of situation they had going on right here. I just don't. But his name just happened to be Michael Johnson. I'm like, oh shit. Why the fuck your name got to be damn Michael? Okay? But anywho, that shit don't speak to who the fuck I am. Okay? He um had to actually pay money to a person to actually go ahead and carry out the whole killing. Okay? So, they was already, like I say, setting up and plotting to take out this little boy that was sodomized and, and, and raped and everything by this adult, it got here to try and set him up for the damn okie doke. To the point where they already had the money there and they was ready to be paid, um, paying the people out. Only thing is, the contract never got carried out because of that informant. He ended up um, getting the authorities involved and kind of letting them know what was going on with the entire situation. Now, this whole thing is just sick, twisted, and just fucking crazy, the fact that this man would even try and, you know, put together a whole situation like this with this little boy and, like I say, pretty much strip him of all his innocence and things at a young age and, like I say, put him at risk for STDs and also, you know, exposing him to, you know, a sexual lifestyle that he might not have known nothing about or whatever. So, it's just fucking crazy. Um... 
I'm just not quite understanding what the fuck was going on in the, in in Deontay's mind, and let alone Michael's mind. I mean, like I said, he had to have some uh, sick, twisted ways about himself for him to be 66 years old, and for him to even be trying to think to let me go ahead and do this for my damn boyfriend. What the hell kind of relationship did y'all two have, like? Somebody needed to be the damn personal reason in this, and you would think your old motherfucking ass would have been that one, but trying to find out, you the one who up here in cahoots with the whole damn thing, or whatever. Like I say, vote for y'all ass, I'm glad y'all locked up, because y'all bitches is menace to motherfucking society, okay, and um, everything that y'all was setting up, plotting the scheme was just fucking uncalled for, and like I say, somebody needs to be ripping you a new motherfucking ass, so why you up in that, Deontay? Since you had the damn, um, since you wanted the damn to file this little boy like that and strip him of all his damn innocence and everything that he had going for him in the future, because never, you never know what the fuck they could have did for him. You probably need counseling and all kind of things of that nature because, you know, you decided that you want to take upon yourself to be the, you know, motherfucking sick, twisted pedophile to even go down that road with him when you could have just left him be as a motherfucking seven-year-old child, and you know, you could've got you a fucking adult hell. You know, you could've got with that damn man that's two times your goddamn age or whatever, but you decided to go with the goddamn kids. I just don't know what to say about this. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, I'm just fucking appalled by this entire situation. I just don't really know how to feel about it. I just know it, it, it fucking infuriates me, the fact that you know, we can't, you can't send your fucking kids to grown ass adults who you think have your child's best interest in mind and without having to worry about, you know, are they going to be in harm's way of the fucking adult who should be the, the responsible one trying to protect and trying to damn guide and steer them in the right path whenever um, they're absent from their parents. But we already know some people ain't got no home training. Some people get in these roles for their own motherfucking damn sick, twisted, demonic ass plays. And that's just, that's just what the fuck it is. Like I say, give his ass some more motherfucking charges. And that's just it right there. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Just know that I love you all. Love you all. Hit that motherfucking subscribe button if you have not. And uh, bye. <laughs>